Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and today I'm gonna show you 10 things you can do during this quarantine time. Number 10. Text all your exes. You might want to take some time to think about your past relationships and how they've ended. Come on, I know you don't want to think about that, but you've got time anyways. You may be considering to practice some stretching. Yes, there are some cool videos out there and with cute girls. Well, if you don't like girls, you can spend some time on maybe coloring books. Trust me, they aren't only for kids. Number 9. Call your friends. What are you waiting for? Pick up the phone and call your best friends. You can reach your friends through Facebook, Instagram and other social medias. You can also video call them, yes. You can use WhatsApp, Zoom or even Skype. Number 8. Learn a new language. There are plenty of sources out there. You can download an app or you can watch a video on YouTube. For example, this great friend of mine, Matheson, made some language videos. Check this out. And also, if you happen to be Japanese, もしあなたは日本人でしたら、ぜひ日本語で書いてください。私は漢字も読めますから。Number 7. Work out at home. I highly suggest you to exercise, daily exercise. This situation is very hard. It is very hard to stay inside your home all the time. So we need to let our blood flow in. I recommend you to download apps or watch videos on YouTube. Do push-ups, abs, whatever you do, you'll be surprised how good you'll feel afterwards. Number 6. Sleep. Yes, yeah, sleep. Get lots of it. If you had a really busy life at work like me, I used to work 12 hours a day every day. Please take a nap in the afternoon, Italian style. Yes, just relax and get plenty of sleep. Number five, watch TV series. You can watch TV series on Netflix or Amazon Prime Video. At the moment, I'm watching How I Met Your Mother and I'm loving it. So sit down and take some time to watch your favorite series. You may take advantage of this situation so you can spend some quality time with your families. Number four, cooking. Learn new recipes. Why don't you take some time to cook some nice and fragrant Sicilian arancine? Follow my recipe, or if you want to eat ancient Roman style, yes, I still have a recipe for you. If you don't feel like eating, you can still memorize the periodic table or apply for a new job. Whatever is the case, you'll find a link in the description below to my recipes. Number 3. Learn to play an instrument. That's a great idea, why not? Learn to play a new music instrument. As you know, I, I play the piano, I sing, I play the guitar, and I'm really enjoying this time because I have a lot of time for playing and for writing new music. So what are you waiting for? Just buy yourself an instrument. There are numberless of free tutorials out there and I can even help you out if you want. Number 2. Read books. This is the best time for reading a book. Some titles I suggest you to read for example are Le Miserable, Into the Wild or even audio books. If you don't like books, you can still play board games or PS4 games. Number 1. Watch your favorite YouTubers. That's a great idea, that's something really cool, entertaining. So who's your favorite YouTuber? Just let me know in the comments below. Feel free to watch my videos or if you're into cool educational historical videos, please take a chance to watch my best friend's videos, Metatron, on his channel. This is a great and unlimited shout out that I am offering only for today. And those who are lucky will see a link in the description below to his channel. As you guys know, I'm Italian and we're really having a hard time in Italy, in other nations, and all over the world. I feel you, I feel, you know, this is a really hard time, but please, you know, keep yourself distracted. Don't dwell on the virus thing. I know it's real, I know it's a problem. Stay at home. That's my main, my main message to you. I want to thank all my patients for their great support and I wish and I hope to get more patients as I lost my job. But anyways, many people have lost their jobs too, so it's really, really hard. But I will be very grateful if any of you will support me on Patreon. Sal is back. And remember, if you feel sad, you better call Sal. Bye.